Hey guys, Adam from Mikanto Product Reviews here, and I was actually um, just working, and I wanted to do a new YouTube video outro to kind of add some length to the end of my videos to, um, you know, because nowadays it's kind of about building playlists, and, you know, every time you have a video marketing campaign, you might want to think in terms of creating multiple videos, uh, related videos and interconnected videos as opposed to just creating one video. So I thought, well, hey, you know, this is a great opportunity to not only use Explaindio, but to add another demo to my series. So here here we are. I think I, I lost count uh, as far as which demo video we are on. I think it's number five, so let's call it number five. And anyways, this is going to be probably a simple one one slide animation, and I have something in mind. Basically, it's something where uh, you know I'm just gonna say thank you for watching, and then I'm gonna have a couple arrows and say you know click the link to access my review or to download the product, whatever. So, anyways, let's go ahead get started. I'm gonna create a new project and call it uh, YouTube outro number one this will end up being the suggested file name at the end of the video so I'm going to create and now I have the option to add slides so we're going to create a new a new scene and previously I've been using templates from here you know I've been u using the templates but this time I'm actually going to be a little brave and and uh, work from a blank canvas and do my own thing. After all, we've got all these features down here. And we can add backgrounds easily enough, I think. So uh, I'm going to start with a bitmap image. And you might be able to guess where I'm going with this. It's uh, That's the guy from uh, The Simpsons, the Quickie Mart guy, Apu. So you might see where I'm going. I'm going to sketch him in, add him here. It's a PNG, so we've got a transparent background. And I'm going to resize it. scales up nicely. Uh, I want it to basically fit to the dimensions of my animation. So I moved him into place there, and you can see up here that's the animation timeline. The next thing I want to do is add some text. So I'm going to say thanks for visiting or thanks for watching since this is a video. And this also can be resized easily. I'm going to center that. And let's see what this move on top. I don't know what these functions are, so I don't know what I just did. Oh, I'm switching those around somehow. Anyways, um, let's see, FX. I don't want to have any effects, but yeah, let's start with that. And then I'm going to add more text and use his famous phrase, please come again. Put that in quote. Thanks for watching. Please come again. And then I'm going to say check out my review and free bonus or I'll just say bonus um, actually this is uh, yeah, let's just leave it at that. Check out my review and bonus. And 
And that's going to go... Actually, let's do this. So this is just the preliminary formatting, keep in mind. So this is going to be refined as we go. Never done this before, so I appreciate your patience as I get a feel for everything. So let's see what's going on right now. Okay, let's do a preview. Let's preview what we have so far. So we, we sketch in the cartoon. We sketch in the text. Okay. Now what we could do is, as you can see we have the hand there, um, what we could do instead of using a hand for the text we could also do, let's see, we can also do a sketch without the hand on all three of these. so that it would look like we sketch him in and the hand's going to go away and it's just going to sketch the text like that or what we can do is we can do different effects where we uh, fly in the text by hand and you can speed up the process as well. Make it happen in 21 frames. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to do it like that and then the last one will fade in. So here's what we're doing now. Okay. And I'm, this is just completely on the fly. I don't have any of this planned out. I'm just playing with Explaindio. Okay, so we've got that going on. Um, we do not have a background. I would like to add a background, so let's see what we could do about that. We go over to the Scene tab. Now we have a Scene Background Video or Scene Background Image. So let's check out our gallery here. See if um, so. Here's these me these mega bundles that also came with Explaindio. Just um, really random images that you can use. I'm gonna go through these. I'm not gonna make you watch me go through hundreds of images. So I'm gonna go through them and come back when I've found something. All right, let's see how this one looks. I'm going to add the image. As you can see, probably has to be stretched a bit to fit to our canvas. And that probably is easy enough to do, I would think. I'm just not sure where to do it. So, okay, I know what to do. Let's go back to the canvas. What we need to do is just somewhere you can get control of the actual canvas size I believe and and that's what I want to do let's see there's scale options here no that's for uh that's not what I wanted to do well there's a couple things I suppose we could do here do it the easy way, even though I'm sure there is a solution. The easy way would just be to move it all over to fit to our background and change the font colors so that you can actually see them. I'm 
Okay. Like so. Make sure everything lines up here. Okay. So that's one way of doing it. Um, Alright, I was actually fooling around for a bit and I ended up with this. Um, I actually, instead of going back and forth, I decided to cut a bunch of the recording that I'm now going to backtrack on because I've decided to use an animated video or a video background instead of what I've been using which is like a still background so we're going to browse and find something in the gallery here okay see how these move so I, those are more fun so let's um let's see what we've got here let's try this one so you've got this yeah this is more this is a bit more fun than what we had before so let's just go back in the canvas and change the text color to white I think we've been doing that more than anything else changing the text color back and forth okay um all right so what I want to do from there is I want to add some arrows that point down here because that's where we're trying to direct the attention of the viewer okay so I'm gonna use some arrows that I've downloaded but first I'm gonna kind of add some more space for these arrows get it I might you know obviously fix this and adjust this as you know later on but let's see so I'm gonna add a bitmap image I'm not gonna sketch these in here are my arrows they are on a transparent background so they fit right into our canvas and the background that we're using and I can just uh, resize these a little here have them pointing down probably want them centered with the text um, I you know I'm not sure about this font yet to be honest with you but let's just fix the animation and then deal with that last because we are very close thanks to how easy it is to use explain to you really because I I've never been able to create videos like this previously okay so I'm gonna close the canvas now what we're working on here is this final slide in the sequence so right now it has a zero second duration we want to change that for sure so going to do that here pause after action it's going to be actually about 10 seconds because I want that to hold and then the time and the time it takes for the action to take place once I define the action is going to be really quick so here I want to say show action I want to fly in and I want it to come in from the left so it's going to do Let's set this to 0.5 seconds. So it's going to come in really quickly from the left like you just saw there. Boom. And it's going to stay there for 10 seconds. So that's really it for the arrow. So if we start from the beginning now, let's check this out from the very beginning again. We might want to sketch him in a little faster. In fact, we might want to speed up all of this, really, because this is an outro. Okay, and we probably want the arrows to come in. So everything pretty much just needs to be sped up. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to speed things up. 
and then come back to show you what we've got. Okay, now here's what we have after I've just taken the action durations and just made them, basically cut them in half. So let's start, let's preview the animation. You'll see how everything just happens quicker now. And I'm personally satisfied with what, what I've got. I might change around the font, but this is going to do the job for me. Um, it's simple, it's, it's a fun, you know, outro for my YouTube videos. Um, you know, he's kind of become a, an icon in, in uh, pop culture in my country, so a lot of people are going to recognize this, uh, this figure here, and the only thing I might do, as I said, is, is maybe pick out a new font, so I'm going to see what we've got as far as that goes, and let's see from there. Alright, so this is what I've decided on. We're going to do one more preview uh, to show you the final product. Of course, I am going to have to add some background audio to the final version of this, but that's something I'm going to do offline on my own. Uh, that, that's it for the simple video outro. Uh, the first the first Explaindio animation I have done from no templates at all. This is just from a blank template. So once again, I just want to thank you for watching my video, and if you'd like to see more demos, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, and that's about it.